If you're like me, you enjoy small cameras such as Sony ZV-1 as it has such a small form factor and amazing quality. But there are some issues that stop you from making this your favourite camera such as having the battery door stuck and the grip being too small. In today's video, I'm going to cover one accessory that's going to make a whole lot of a difference. Now this is the Uric L-mount for the Sony ZV-1. It's basically an attachment that's going to enhance the features of the Sony ZV-1 and add a few other different functions which is going to make this camera even more amazing. Now we're outdoors today and as you can see it's quite windy. Let's head to the structure behind us over here and start mounting up this little L-mount and see how it looks after it's mounted on the Sony ZV-1. Alright, let's first start with what comes in the box. Alright, the first thing we have here is what looks like the base. Okay, the next is this little wrench over here. It's like a screwdriver and the Allen key. <laughs> now, in case you guys are curious why I'm doing this, is because my camera has actually the face detect, which uh, I have not off it. So usually it will actually focus on my face, whereas I want you guys to focus on the tools. And inside there's this handle which is the extra grip. And yeah, that's this main four things. So let's start with uh, mounting up the base first. Okay. Okay, I think I will need this wrench over here. Oh man, it's windy. All my stuff are blowing over. Okay. Okay, it's tightened up. Then let's insert the base over here the first screw second screw and the allen key to tighten it and here you go actually this was much more simple to install than i thought if you can take a closer look the grip actually widens now now i can fit my all four fingers over here and at the bottom, you can see that there are a few more screw holes over here which gives you more option to be able to mount it on different uh, tripods. And of course, the battery door is not blocked. The very first reason is that it gives you options. Now, not only do you get all these extra screw mounts at the bottom, you also get this, which is actually a cold shoe mount. There's one cold shoe mount that's on top of the Sony ZV-1. You usually use it for a microphone, at least for me, and you're unable to attach any light to it. But with this cold shoe mount at the bottom, all you have to do is take this over here, and here you go, you have two accessories in one. It'll probably matter a lot, especially for all those you guys who are planning to shoot at night. Number two is actually its profile. Now, having after it being attached, you can see my four fingers can actually hold it much better. Even if my screen open, it doesn't feel lopsided or a little too light. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the weight of the Sony ZV-1. It's really light, but a little too light for my liking. Light for my liking. Now, in case you are curious, the plate itself does weigh a bit to it. It weighs about 160 grams or 0.3 pounds. With, without this cage, it actually feels a little bit lopsided because it is so light, I'm unable to actually make it more stable. And if you guys know, uh, the all functions of stabilizations are actually steady cams, which are actually weights to keep your camera from making any abrupt motion, which actually helps to smooth out your camera footage. Next, it's actually easier to mount. What do I mean by that? With the whole grip itself, you can see at the side, it comes with these two extra 4-inch uh, adapter, quarter-inch adapter. Usually how you mount your camera and make it on a portrait mode is this way and then you tilt here. But sometimes if the thing is too light, you see, it's actually really wobbly. I could easily push it and it actually goes over. So now where does this come in is that once you have the screw mounts at the side, you can just attach it over here and it's perfectly level. One of the very small things but important for all those who are actually shooting for TikTok or Reels. So what do you guys think of this particular grip? Now, I do know that there are other grips out there from other brands which actually has a slightly different function. But why did I choose this? It's for the price point and functionality. It actually works very well for me. Overall, I also like how the grip looks and feels. Other grips have wooden uh, look to it or are a bit more above my expected price, such as like $80, just giving you a few more additional functions which you are likely not to use. I find the look and the design of the Uric much cleaner and simple. I also got it knowing that Uric is a branch company of Ulanzi. It really gives me the confidence that the materials are well made and will really last a long time. So overall, for actually only 20 bucks, I feel that this is a really good bang for your buck compared with other accessories from other brands. Now, I actually got a few other tripods. 
This is the Ulanzi uh, M54. If you guys have been answering my uh, YouTube community questions, I actually consider this and another tripod. And guess what? I actually got both of them. We'll be doing a review on this MT44 as well as this tripod which my A6400 is mounted. Let me show you. So this is the SK04. It's actually a 26 cm tripod that actually can uh, go really high up. So I'm actually using it right now and it's in a rather windy environment so it's really stable. If you enjoyed this video, do the usual. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.